Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to answer some questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do because I'm always like on my stories and I'm always like asking you guys to ask me questions so I can answer them either on the stories or here on YouTube. So all these questions came straight from you guys on Instagram. I... Whenever, usually whenever I watch videos like this, people look at their questions on their phone, but obviously I film with my phone, so I wrote the questions on my little notebook, and that's where I'm going to read it from. So let's get started. I don't want to make this too, too long. Okay, first question is, how to get best seller tag? It's so mysterious. The best seller badge is something that is like, an Etsy like urban not urban legend but it's just like an Etsy like mystery just like you said Etsy has never like really mentioned anywhere like exactly how to get the best seller badge so you know people just make assumptions on how you get it but there's no like as, at least from what I've seen at least from what I've researched I never seen Etsy being like this is what you have to do to get the best seller badge. But from our experience and from what I've read, because um, to answer this question, I just like went on Etsy community and see what other people were saying, because I was curious. But from what we know and from what we've seen, the best seller badge is something that you get if, it's something that you get if you have a best seller in a specific category in a certain amount of time so for example our let's say like one of our banners we have a best seller badge on it probably because it was the best seller under the category of banners and signs under like two months let's say so in order to get the badge you need to have an item that you're gonna sell a lot of in that category and it has to be i believe it's like under two months or something like that from what we've seen and from what i also saw people talking about on etsy community so for example you can sell um a product a thousand times under like a year which is a good number it's a lot like a thousand sales in a specific item in under a year is really good but i don't think that's gonna get you the best seller badge because it has to be under a short period of time so for example our banner like it's under banners and signs category if that's if our banner is the best seller item in that category like let's say we sold it 20 times under two months and our competitor sold it 19 times under two months we're gonna get the best seller badge because we're the ones that sold it the most and i say two months because I assume that that's the time frame i know it's not like a long time frame i think it's under two months but the best seller badge is something that like comes and goes it's like sometimes we have it sometimes we don't i don't think right now we have any best seller badge there is a sign that we have which is like a mimosa sign i'll put a picture right here that usually will get the best seller badge but like right now it doesn't have it so it, so it's something that comes and goes like i there, I don't think there's like, this is just my assumption. I don't think there's anything specific that I can tell you, but yeah, I don't worry. Don't worry too much about it. I know like having the badge is cool, but it's like not a big of a deal if you don't have it, <laughs> but that's just what I think. That's how it works. Okay. Question number two. Uh, she said the basics i've got good titles and 20 plus listings but the views buys aren't coming so i try to go on her etsy shop because i want to see what it looks like but she didn't have um the link of her etsy shop she had the link of her website but i talk about this a lot of times on instagram and on tiktok but if you have the listing like if you have the listings there are you saying that the views neither the views neither the buys are coming so 
it, it honestly could be a lot of things. You said that your titles are good, so that's good. But if you're still not getting the views, it might be because your tags are not strong. You're not having a good category on your product. Um, because the views of your shop will come if people find you on the Etsy search box. And how do people find you on the Etsy search box? You have to have a good, strong title full of keywords, long tail, short tail, just words and phrases that people are searching for on the Etsy search box. I tell you guys this a lot of times, but like one of our banners, like our best seller on our title, we're not just gonna do bridal shower banner. We're gonna do bridal shower banner, bridal shower decor, custom banner, bride to be, floral banner. Like we're gonna have a lot of things that people are searching for on the Etsy search box. And then again, our tags, we use all 20 tags. We use again, all keywords. We always match our tags to our titles and that's usually how people, that's how people will find you. That's how people will find you on the Etsy search box. For example, whenever you type bridal shower decor or bridal shower banner, bridal shower sign, those keywords on the Etsy search box, our products will be on the very first page. They'll be on the, they'll be like the very first product to show up sometimes. So, but that's because we have really strong titles and tags. And that's like, just like a general, that's how people will find you. So make sure you're having strong things. And then, okay, you did a good job. You, people are finding you, people are going to your Etsy shop, but you're still not making any sales. So your conversion rate is not good because people are going to your Etsy shop, they're looking at it, but they're actually not buying anything. That also could be because of like many reasons, but ones that I see the most is First, your shop doesn't have a lot of details. So you don't have anything under announcements, you don't have anything under about the shop, you don't have anything under about shop member. And those things are so important, you guys, because shoppers need to trust you. Shoppers need to know that there's an actual person behind the shop. If you go into an Etsy shop that's like completely empty, doesn't have any information, just has products, I honestly would not feel encouraged to shop anything from that shop. I wanna feel safe making a purchase from a shop that I don't even know who's behind it. So make sure your shop is full of like details and like good stuff because shoppers need to trust you. And then it could also be because the pictures are not good. People are going to your shop but wants to see the pictures of your products. They're not excited to get anything. They're not excited to buy it. So make sure your pictures are like top notch, your pictures are literally everything, honestly. And it could also be because your descriptions of your product is not good. Like, do you mention what's the material of the product? Do you mention exactly what the product is? Do you mention how long it takes for you to make the product? All, all those things are very, very important because you have your shop, which is doesn't have a lot of details, the pictures are not that good, your descriptions are like weak, and then you have another shop that sells exactly the same thing as you do, and they have all the details, amazing pictures, they have like a picture of them, they, like, they have everything. Obviously, a shopper will choose your competitor instead of like choosing your shop. So add everything that you can on your Etsy shop, add all the details, add all the de details to your description and make sure your pictures are really, really good. Okay, next question. How do you get, how do you get inspiration for captions under Insta slash Pinterest posts? I find it hard sometimes. Girlfriend, me too. <laughs> Hold on, I need to drink water. It is so hard for me to write captions. You guys have no idea. It is hard for me to write in general. <laughs> I am a good like talker, I'm a good communicator, but when it comes to like writing down my thoughts and like what I wanna say, it's so hard. That's why I like doing like videos, but a few tips that I have is I keep a notes like on iPhone, like you have like the notes app and over there I 
literally just write anything that crosses my mind if I ever get like an ins inspiration from somewhere or I see someone that did a really cool caption and that, that gave me an idea I will literally write it under my notes because sometimes like my post planning day is on Thursdays so every Thursday I sit down to like plan my posts and write my captions but sometimes I just don't feel inspired and I honestly do not know what to write it's so hard for me but if under my notes I have some sort of inspiration or I've had a, an idea like two days ago and I wrote it down in my notes it makes my life so much easier so definitely have a little section on your notes and whenever something crosses your mind or whenever you get like a little inspiration or idea write it down and also I use Pinterest as like an inspirational source. Sometimes like just to get like something going and like an idea, I will write um, inspirational quotes on Pinterest or anything that would inspire me to write a caption. And also another idea that I just thought about is if you follow people, I'm assuming you're asking this for your Etsy shops, Instagram if you follow any other Etsy shops that on Instagram that you like their captions you like their ideas you like the way they structure it make sure you save some of their posts obviously don't copy their captions but just use them as an inspiration and use them as like a resource so anytime you see a really good post with a really good caption save it on Instagram so you can look a bit look back at it later I save posts all the time from other people whenever I need like pictures ideas or caption ideas I look back at like my saved posts and that helps me so much but that's for Instagram when it comes to Pinterest I honestly don't worry too much about the caption of Pinterest because Pinterest is so much different than Instagram Pinterest is not a social media you guys Pinterest is a search engine just like Google. Google is a search engine and so is Pinterest. When it comes for your captions on Pinterest, I wouldn't worry too much about like how on Instagram you like try to have like a conversation on your captions. Like you want to tell your customers something or you, or you want to ask your customers questions or not your customers, your followers, I should say. Pinterest is not like that. Like the captions on Pinterest, the main point is that you need to have you need to fill it with keywords and searchable words just like Etsy. Etsy and Pinterest from what I when it comes to like writing titles and writing descriptions to Etsy and Pinterest are very similar because their titles and captions well I should say captions for um, Pinterest and then tags and descriptions for Etsy but they're the same kind of idea you need to write things that will appear on people's search box or when people are searching for bridal shower decor on Pinterest I want to make sure that my banner is right over there so people can see it so on Pinterest captions I honestly just do I do like a phrase or a couple phrases that are just filled with keywords Pinterest if you follow me on Instagram, it's something that I'm starting to become like very passionate about and it's something that is really working for our Etsy and it's something that I will definitely be talking more about here on YouTube or on Instagram, but it's definitely something that I will bring it up more because it has helped us so much getting views. And if you're an Etsy seller, you like need to become good at Pinterest because it will help you so much. It will give you so many views and you will make a lot of sales from it. And it's honestly fun. I love doing Pinterest. <laughs> uh, the next question is, what was your first product? I don't remember. I don't remember because I didn't do it my mom did it like when my mom first opened the Etsy shop I wasn't like with her yet so I don't remember but I think well actually let's see if I can look it up because I think the first product that we sold at least I can look back at our history I think the first product that we sold was tears of joy which was one of my favorite products to make, but we actually don't make it anymore. 
because it was like very time consuming and it was just very time consuming honestly <laughs> and it just wasn't worth it but let's see let's go to orders and shipping and then completed and then oldest yeah january 21st of 2014 so it's gonna be almost seven years we got we made our first order which was a tears of joy to someone named valerie in florida <laughs> That's so amazing. That was our very first product so long ago. And looking back at like our old products, it's so funny to look back at them because we have changed so much. Like we used to make tears of joy. Uh, we used to make like chair signs. We didn't even have banners yet. They Everything was so different. So that's what happens when you have your Etsy shop for seven years. A lot of things change. <laughs> What's your least favorite? favorite product i honestly don't have one i don't because well we don't have many products like we have a lot of listings but we don't have many different products we sell banners which banners is our only physical item everything else is digital so then we have welcome signs and table signs and inv invitations and the digital products i honestly don't touch them my mom is the one that like makes them designs them and like sets it up for the customer so i honestly don't ever touch the, di the digital products i am the one that makes the banners and i love making them i honestly really do <laughs> so i don't have a least favorite i really don't um another question is best place to find info on texas for etsy you guys my instagram has blown up with texas questions right now at the end of the year i know you guys have all the questions on texas i know it's like a hard topic and there seems to be not that many information about it out there but i'm gonna leave a link down in the description with a pdf that i made with all the articles or anything that will be helpful for you when it comes to taxes and also business like or taxes or licenses and all those articles all those links are from like etsy the best place to find any information on taxes about etsy is on etsy because they're like the main source you have to like hear it from them so I know it can be like confusing and I know there's like a lot of information out there but I I would just focus on seeing what Etsy says and uh, the I can't talk the link the PDF link that I'm gonna post down below I have a lot of like uh, helpful like articles and things that will help you when it comes to your taxes questions and the last question for today because this is already getting a little long <laughs> is how much should i post on pinterest how should i be posting on it daily how many posts a day pinterest yes you have to be on it every single day and post i like to aim for at least 10 posts a day that doesn't mean it's only my posts my products it could also be like reposts from like someone else but i usually like to do like six to seven my products my posts and then the other posts someone else's but pinterest is like a search engine that likes people that are very very active on the platform like in the past when i didn't understand anything about pinterest i used to like once a week i used like i don't know like on a friday i used to do like 25 posts and then think it was good because like oh 25 posts will get me by like for the whole week but then i would just do it on friday and then i'll never go back to it until like the next friday and then again do 25 posts and i wish pinterest worked like worked like that but it does not you need to just go on it every single day and do posts every single day on pinterest now i know it's very exhausting to go on it every single day we don't have time to do that so i really recommend that you guys do tailwind this is something that I have just started and it has helped me so, so much. So once a month on the, two, the first Tuesday of the month, I sit down literally the whole day because it takes the whole day, but 
at least it's only once a month. I will sit down for the whole day and literally plan and make and write every single post and then I will schedule them. And then once I schedule them, till when will post them for me. So as we're speaking right now, I have posts going up on Pinterest because of Tailwind. Tailwind, I believe it's $14 a month, but if you try it, you have a hundred, you can, you can try it for free at first and then you have a hundred posts that you can do and then after you go over a hundred, you have to pay. But, um, I think it's worth it you guys like i said pinterest is so helpful for etsy sellers and 14 dollars a month it's it adds up but if it's gonna bring you sales then it's a hundred percent worth it hmm. so that's it you guys i hope you guys liked it um if you have any more questions please leave it in the comments because i will do more sit down videos like this and answer your guys's questions but i hope you enjoyed it don't forget don't forget to like subscribe and i will see you on the next video bye